All right, guys, welcome back. We are here for round number four, our final round for this evening. So thank you guys so much for watching here. I really appreciate all the support here. And uh, again, I think I uh, just want to give a shout out to everyone who's been giving stars um, so far this evening. I think I didn't get a chance to uh, call out one of them. Uh, Red, thank you so much for the 100 stars. You've been awesome, man. So yeah, I think, guys, uh, for this round, we do have a, a couple of teams that did drop out. So um yeah we'll just have to go without them and looks like geek fam will be dropping in campo militar right off the bat here as they look to get started in this round and uh it could be a little bit of an interesting one to see how it will pan out into the later stages in res as uh cruz de veil here we see resurgence here currently occupying it together with uh dogs at the moment and dogs currently scattered around this region now looking at uh water treatment it's going to be um uh, quite a few, well, not only dogs, but it's also going to be the Snow Templar guys here. Now, it looks like uh, Gang FDY going all out, going for the uh, Hacienda del Patron over here. And now we will be looking to see how the rest of it is go going to be faring. Excuse me, it looks like uh, Stadium Fighter going over the power grid section. But Picado looks like it will be a hot spot here where we have RRQ team number one going toe to toe with L dogs for the time being and um, it looks very much like uh, they are just going to try and hold the fort for the time being but Joe Josie here is currently a, a bit by himself here all the way on this eastern side so it'd be a bit interesting to see how this one is going to develop here as uh, DJ Strong just trying to get a little bit more vision he did get uh, some information as to the whereabouts but wow we were we had a circle all the way down here in the south now it's all the way up here in the north uh, okay it could be worse uh, but Hey, it's still going to make for a more interesting PUBG, if you ask me. It doesn't even include Picado here. So that's going to be a nice turn of events. Too much error here. Going to be home to two teams, Ronin as well as Team Capcorn. So Team Capcorn also going to try and duke it out as best they can here. As uh, Currently, they do have the high ground here. And they do have a little bit of uh, breathing room for the time being here. As we do have uh, Ronin who is uh, still very much on the low ground and not really looking to push up to here. They would have seen the, the drop coming in from them and uh, not really wanting to push the situation too far. But now it looks as though that uh, Vengeance here uh, getting into a little bit of a stick here as currently there's Nesco Sar here as well as the rest of uh, Snow Templar currently advancing onto this position. So they're going to have to be a little bit wary. But actually, the rest of the team member is not going there. I actually don't think that he knows that uh, these players are coming here. But it looks like uh, Dogs going against uh, Resurgence here. And they're taking a lot of fire here. And they've already lost uh, Aeon here. Brax going down as well. As uh, currently, there is going to be two of the players here from Dogs here. So in quick fashion, they're able to make Resurgence get out of there in no time flat. And now it looks like uh, Brax will be finished off there. And they will continue onwards in this game. Whereas uh, now in Impala, we actually see that this is going to be Arrowwolf Vince Pro here. So no problems from them. And uh, elsewhere, we will be looking to see how others will be faring as well. As currently, there is going to be True Mature, which does have uh, Ronin still very much there. Uh, in Picado, things have not really uh, developed uh, any further over here. As uh, currently, they're still very much far away. Actually, we have seen L Dogs uh, retract a little bit towards the... The casino side here as they are trying to deal with uh, Joey, Josie here. But looks like uh, that is going to actually prevent them from uh, getting that valuable looting time currently. Um, there's a bit more time and space for RRQ to do what they like here as Josie is not in any danger of getting pushed here as the distance is a little bit too great and uh, they won't even be able to push across effectively without getting shot at here. But looks like Regium here going to put a lot of hits onto some of these other, other players here as uh, we will be seeing how uh, Kaio here is going to try and uh, escape a little bit, get into all these little buildings here, see whether or not he can get uh, a little bit of angle. He actually opens the door as well, but he exposes himself a little bit, but he is able to get the shot onto Dunk there. So a nice little pickup for him, uh, but not as quite as sweet as uh, getting the kills there in that section there. But in Chumachera here, it looks like um, the rest of Team Capcorn is starting to advance 
further down the field here for the time being. And it uh, looks like Icefell and Lexus Fizzy as well as real level one here uh, advancing here. Leander taking some hits there from Icefell. So now looking like uh, Icefell is trying to advance further here into this position here and um, trying to see whether or not he can get a good shot. His teammate actually got knocked down and the nice jump shot from Jowy Cute there. So he's going to be able to finish him off. Now there's still Jatsu coming over here, but currently there is going to be a, a, a Latos here putting up some of those long range shots onto Jatsu here, making life a little bit difficult as he wants to try and navigate his way out of this particular area of the zone. But uh, Alatz is going to reposition a little bit while waiting for these other players to make the move. Now, it looks like everyone is starting to make their rotations as they try and claim those more central spots in the circle. Resurgence forced to move into Cruz de Vale here after losing two of their players to dogs there. Now we see Gang FTY here a bit spread out at the moment with M0 Mamparang in the northern side while San Martin has Allens and Dankirk. So now we will have to see how the these other teams are going to reposition themselves in just a little bit. As now we see that uh, there is going to be rotation coming up all the way from the top at the moment here. As uh, from the looks of it, uh, ooh, Kaio able to get the knock onto uh, the player here as things are heating up here between Snow Templar and Regium. So Regium just going to try and do uh, their best here after they're trying to uh, withstand that loss there from uh, one of their players. But it looks like... Donk here going to go down as well as Jonathan is going to push up on this side. And now it looks like... Um, also, Kayo is uh, going to be finished off by our boy as well. So, Super Raj here going to be all by his lonesome as he tries to see whether or not he can get the drop onto Jonathan at the moment. But he's moving inside the building here and he's able to catch out Jonathan. So, he goes down and now we're reduced to um, two players here for uh, Regium here as our boy. Sorry, was going to kill one of the players from Snow Templar. So now there's only two players left from Snow Templar. They're all the way here on this northern side. Now all these other teams here in rotation for the time being here. And uh, things are going to actually start moving a little bit forward. Picado, of course, is still very much uh, going to be uh, the two t teams of RRQ and l Dogs at the moment. Currently, Rise of Fury coming all the way over towards this west northwestern side of, the, of this whole compound at the moment. And it looks very much like uh, Valdemort... And uh, chop in here, just trying to get a good vision here. And now DJ Strong here, just going to try and get some better angles here. But currently, there's not much he can do from that two-story that he has. It is a little bit uh, lower on the ground. So he's going to always be a little bit more of a challenge to actually make it over there. But now, looking at how things are going here, we will be seeing a lot of rotations coming up. This is going to be Team Mista over here as they're moving towards Cruz de Vale. And uh, looks like GeekFam having uh, bugged out of Temple Militar. They already have um, KNY God also making his uh, move. He might... Uh, okay, he stops just after Toria Ahumada, so he's not going to run into the team members of Vengeance here too soon. But now it looks as though that... Uh, the, this is, is going to be a carefully poised battle here with Chance taking up the high ground here in that uh, multi-story office block for the time being here. And looks like Valdemort here and Josie here going to try and do their own thing here as they try and um, flank a little bit. In Valdemort's case, Josie here trying to advance a bit further up onto the hill and get a little bit more of a vantage point here. So now that uh, from that... It actually looks like uh, Revenge here going to try and posture around here and see whether he can catch a shot onto Zalman. That high ground advantage there for him is actually going to make things difficult. But Monty here driving right through Vengeance here. And somehow he doesn't even get a shot landed onto him. So that's a, a nice move from him. And uh, looks like he should be getting away here. Doobie 2, Ace uh, 6 6 here, and Mune here. Going to just try and finish up looting this area. And there could be uh, more troubles here if Geekfam decides to put more pressure. But it looks as though that they will probably be avoiding this whole zone here. As uh, we see all the way coming from the western side, it's going to be Wipeout. They're going for the long route here. But they might run into the stadium fighter here in La Cabrera. So that will be interesting to see. But in Picado, things have not... Develop further here as everyone is still engaged in the standoff. Soon the blue zone is going to be here and both these teams are going to bite the bullet here and reap the whirlwind as uh, things will be getting a little bit more dicey for the time being. But for the, for now, Valdemore takes a lot of hit. Josie here getting a lot of uh, shots put his way. Hit by DJ Strong. He's able to knock him down with the MK47 Mutant. And uh, from the looks of it, oh, Manprong going down there for Gang FDY as Z God there comes out on top. And looking at how things are going, we see that uh, Revenge 
starting to advance a little bit closer here as uh, Valdemort still tries to prevent the flank from coming in. But all these teams are moving in from the northern, uh, southern side. DPT is finally moving from uh, Los Leones. We see that the team members on Airwolf Vince Pro here are advancing here. They already have two inside the circle. And we have Airwolf Summit moving up along this eastern side. So now it looks like Josie gets knocked down again here. And DJ Strong and Riser Fear here trying to press the issue as uh, they're going to try and advance onto this position. Currently, Riser Fury going to see whether he can get a shot through the windows. Oh, sorry, there is no windows in for this particular building here. And it looks as though that cop in here going to knock down Riser Fury, and that is going to be it here. As now we do look, see how the rest of these things are going to develop, but it looks like um, the rest of uh, Team Roar Gaming here in a little bit of a... Oh, no, sorry, it's not Roar Gaming. It's actually Z God here. In a little bit of trouble as now they're engaged with the rest of gang fty as uh, there is dan kirk and allen's inside that warehouse m0 is currently uh taking up spot at the gas station for the time being so they might actually put some more shots this way here if they can with currently uh we do see that burning and rage boy here together with Vinny, there all three of them are there only head on point is actually um the person who's still trying to hold on to this position here as uh, currently occupying dan kirk gonna try and return a little bit of fire but now, looking at how the rest of the rotations are shaping up, guys, we see around the Campo Militar side will be the Airwolf Summit guys as they try to move in further here. But looks like Maudie and uh, the rest of the team here going to town here on the rest of uh, Be Team Vengeance here. DP2 gets finished off as uh, Maudie is trying to do his thing. Oh, I think there is an AWM in the play. And um, now it looks like Maudie here going to have to face off against Munue here. He's coming over the top. It looks like he gets knocked down. And Maudie might try to finish him off. But he's got further problems coming his way as there are going to be the advancements from 6-6 six, six here. And the rest of them, it's going to be a three-on-one situation. But Modi not being any stranger to these kind of situations as well. But it looks like Mock's coming around just at the right time and he should be able to catch him out. Geekfam still a little bit separated here uh, with um, two of them here. Jank's over here. So now Jank's going to have to try and hold on to this compound. He does have a lot of problems coming his way in the form of Mista. So Mista Pru moving in here with Paku Paku and Private Dumb. They still have their other two members coming in here. And could be a little bit of a difficult situation. But Jank's just going to hold strong inside the, the saloon for the time being. As uh, now we see that the next circle has shifted all the way up to the north, north side here. And... Uh, all these teams going to have to move. It looks like Jank's putting a lot of pressure onto these team members here. He takes a lot of hits, and unfortunately, that's going to be it for him. So GeekFam not able to replicate um, getting four people up to the later stages of the circle here. Uh, so they're going to have to make do with KNY, God, and Savior here. Now, looking at the bottom here, we do see that the fight here in Picado is still not finished. They're all fighting here in the blue. Cop in here. The last player up for RRQ. He's going to get shot in the back. Chance and Revenge finally finish it off here after they claim all the kills. But they are in the blue a little bit here. It's not so terrible, but they have to try and make sure that they have a vehicle. But look at all these vehicles all moving in here as it is absolutely crazy for the time being. And uh, it is going to be a bit interesting whether uh, these other teams are going to be able to find enough space to move into. As uh, currently, the KNY God and uh, Savior here are going to try and finish off some of these teams. And it looks like KNY God going to put up a huge spray onto Super Raj here. His vehicle is almost going to explode here. If he can just land a few more bullets here, he's going to do it. But, oh, just not enough here. So that's going to be... Uh, very lucky for Super Raj here, but now it looks like uh, Gang FTY going to try and put some hurt at long range here onto the team members from uh, L Dogs at the moment while they're trying to do. Oh no, sorry, not L Dogs. DPT trying to do their rotation at the moment. L Dogs is still all the way here in Mercado, but now looking at how things are going, Stadium Fighter is coming in from this uh, western side for the time being. As now Allen's putting up some long range shots onto Pizza after sex, and uh, that's going to be. Um, very lucky situation after he almost flipped that car permanently and uh, he would have to run the rest of the way but oh looks like Mista here gonna put a lot of hurt onto Migo here they really annihilate him and uh, looks like uh, he is forced to just try and survive as long as possible but that is gonna be it pizza after sex gonna be making up the rear there as the last uh Second last player, uh, they do have Emman here, who is uh, currently west of Cruz de Vale at the moment. And now looking at how things are going. Oh, it looks as though Alata's here expiring, and uh, that's going to be it for him. But he's still got two team members from Team Capcorn here, still to carry the torch. 
But looks like Resurgence here are going to be in very close proximity to Airwolf uh, Vince Pro as uh, they are going to try and duke it out. Misery getting knocked down here by Quadro. So now it looks like Ryo is going to have to try and do his best. Kasaki is going to go in for the push here as he looks to try and put the remaining hurt onto these guys. And uh, looks like he comes up the stairs, comes to the stairs, but Kasaki is able to surprise him while he's in mid reloading. So that's going to be it for these two players here from Airwolf uh, Vince Pro. Uh, they already have uh, Raylik here, who's uh, all the way in the southern part of Tori Ahumada at the moment. So now looking at the, the rest of these players, they are still making their way inside as well. And we will be actually seeing whether or not a lot of these teams uh, will actually find the space. There's a lot of open ground over here, which there's, uh, I mean, Miramar in general is generally uh, not even terrain and everything, but it does... Uh, it does uh, actually have those spots where it's going to be fairly wide open and could offer a lot of uh, challenges to teams trying to rotate through those zones here. As now we see Vengeance here just trying to get a little bit of vision onto the team members of Dogs at the moment. Currently they have uh, two players up there while CJ is a little bit onto the lower ground. Mad Dog is here in this very central compound as currently it looks like they are going to look to try and hold that very central position. But... Unexpected already in rotation here, but all these other teams are going to try their luck here as they try and make sure that they can get inside as well. So from the looks of things, Paku Paku is uh, also moving towards this compound here as he looks to scout out a little bit here for his team members. But looks like Dogs is going to take this compound first. I mean, they are a team that can definitely play on the edges of the circle. But like as we were discussing with Jin just now in round number three, we do know that they are very multi-skilled and um, do have a lot of things that um, other teams can learn from here as they are consistently one of the higher performers. Uh, but this evening, they the best result they, they've managed so far is the second place in the last round there after that really awkward circle, which uh, I'm sure threw a lot of teams off their game plan. But that's all going to be part of the game, guys. So now looking at how... The rest of this is going to develop here. Uh, the circle is actually going to close very soon here and really force these other teams to do things which uh, is probably not going to be in their best interest for the time being. But it is going to be uh, a lot of movement coming out here. Gang FTY moving into the southern region here at the moment. As uh, now we do see Arrowwolf Summit here occupying this uh, northern side for the time being here as they look to try and prevent these other players here from actually getting too much inside the relative uh, fights at the moment. Now, they do have z God here, who's currently in close proximity and could offer a lot of problems here as uh, we will be looking to see how this is going to play, play out a little bit. But currently, we see that KY God, all alone here, I didn't catch Savior dying, unfortunately. So he's going to try and hold the fort here. Let's see whether he can clutch out like in round number three. But looking at it, he does have uh, Stadium Fighter very close to him as uh, we already see that the circle is on the move. Most of the teams have managed to make their way in already. But now it's uh, controlling all that map territory and making sure that others just don't invade it. Because once it gets even smaller, it's going to be even harder to, to make moves further here. And uh, right in the center is going to be dogs over here. Now it looks like Vengeance here trying to put some hurt onto Gang FBY. Alan's forced to jump down a little bit from that high ground on the building. As uh, now Vengeance trying to just posture a little bit. They only have two players over here on this side of the map. So it could be interesting whether or not they actually decide to reposition later on. But currently they don't have a lot of pressure directed their way. But currently FDY does know their position. But they do have to worry about Stadium Fighter. Stadium Fighter is all the way back there. So maybe they won't be able to land too many shots. But there's also the threat from Snow Templar, who's uh, towards the north, as well as Wipeout here. So, again, while it is very big space over here, it's still uh, more than one kilometer in diameter, the circle. It is still going to make life incredibly difficult for you to make those rotations here, as you're going to attract fire from everyone. But let's see how this next circle is going to develop a little bit here, before um, we actually see how these teams are going to have to react to this kind of situation. It looks like Allens has got that position onto that left side of the shack. And it looks like it's going to be very central here. So Gang FTY probably just going to consolidate their positions. Dun Danker going to move up from the southern side here. As um, now we see that um, both uh, Wipeout over here um, going to be also Snow Templar and also Cheesy Kimba for Ronin here, who are still all out very far outside here. And we also have 
for Wolf. Vince Pro here also trying to duke it out. So it's going to be very interesting whether or not these teams can already identify where the hotspots will be. But they have to time their runs here perfectly. If not, they're going to track more fire from these teams that actually make them move first. But looks like Vengeance here getting pushed from the team members of Team Capcorn as currently Mox is knocked down at the moment. And um, real level one and Icefell going to try and push up here after that. Oh, I don't know why that bike is tumbling down there. It's quite a, a little bit of a mishap there. But now it looks like Icefell and real level one here are going to move. But looks like they're under fire here from Gang FTY. But they seem determined to try and move in onto this position currently that occupied by Vengeance here. Even tossing up that nade. Mox might be a bit too close here. And he is. Looks like Icefell going to get that knockdown here. And 6-6 six, six, uh, here getting a lot of hits. Icefell going to come around the side here. And uh, see whether he can finish him off. And he will be able to do so. But now it looks like Stadium Fighter going to try and prevent all this rotation coming out from Snow Templar at the moment. As we ne see Nescosar actually rotating all the way around. And uh, looks like um Fan here actually getting knocked down. Now Kahaya just trying to get a little bit more vision onto him as uh, currently is not forthcoming but now it looks like the rest of gang FTY is starting to crank up the pressure on this uh, high ground here after they took out Icefell leaving only real level one here to fight it off the push coming in from Denker. M0 is currently to his uh, north uh, northeastern position so real level one going to have to find a good spot to hold up in. Now uh, there is still that shack though that's available but he does have the three team members from uh, Wipeout there. Um, I don't know whether or not he's able to spot them. But now looking as though the, this push is coming here from the team members of uh, Z Gods here after they're trying to push it to here. But our boy here is going to get all four of them as to he's able to knock down that four packs after the push uh, into this compound was thwarted. Holy, so a nice four packs there coming out of our boy. And that's going to be it for them. And it actually looks like uh, team. Capcorn here expire as well after they get finished off by the rest of Gang FTY. So now Gang FTY does have a lot of vision here on the high ground. They're going to try and spot out where all these other players might be. And uh, everyone basically just waiting for the zone to actually move in. The guys here from Regium still have a lot of space to move in. So, um, oh yeah, so just um, I think after watching for a bit, can see that Team 11 or Gaming is not in this round. Uh, I think also do not have Lapar Genesis. So unfortunately our winner from round number one is not here to finish off the rest of this evening. But now looking at things, uh, we see that Arthur Crosby taking a lot of hits at long range from Stadium Fighter here. Currently still very much inside the northern part of the circle. But whether or not they can actually stay in, I mean, we're going to have to wait and see. But it's not going to be easy for them to cross the road here. It's going to be a very precarious situation for them to actually try and work this out. But elsewhere, we will be seeing that others are going to also make their way inside the zone for the time being. But um, currently, I think it's just Cheesy Kimbap who's currently not quite in at the moment. Resurgence still alive here with Quadro and Kasaki here. After enduring for quite some time here after two of their team members taken out early by... Dogs and uh, dogs right now. They have four players up strong here in the center of the circle. So they might be a, the force to be reckoned with here. And looks like uh, it's going to be awkward here as uh, looks like they have one of the key compounds. The other one with KNY God and Udin from uh, Stadium Fighter here. So KNY God just staying put here for the time being as Udin is just posturing around here. But the rest of uh, Stadium Fighter should be advancing onto this position. And it looks as though they are on the move here. So KY God going to have to try and do the best that he can. Try, just try and stay quiet. Udin would have communicated that this compound is clear. So they have to be really careful that uh, they don't stumble into that building. But it looks as though that there's an oncoming push here from Arrowwolf Summit. As Arthur Crosby going first here. Going to try and uh, get a little bit of information here as to which compounds are currently occupied. And really seeing a lot of fire as there is going to be both dogs as well as the team members from stadium fighter just really trying to make life as difficult as possible here in this situation here because uh now we will be seeing that other things are going to be developing here as uh we see mista here in a little bit of trouble as the rest of uh regium here are going to put up some long range uh shots a little bit further here as uh that might actually throw a spanner into the works here but uh, our boy now on his way as well to 
to try and uh, get inside the zone, but looks as though Chance PH expires, and that's going to be it for L Dogs. As our boy is advancing onto this position, but he gets caught out easily by uh, Airwolf at the moment. But Lair taking a lot of fire from the hill there. That's going to be Gang FTY really raining down hurt. As uh, Z Gods here just, or Dogs uh, squad number 18, just going to continue to rain down pain. But looks like Super Rush just trying to get a good nade onto this position. So far, not being successful enough here. As uh, currently, it looks as though he's out of frag grenades. But now the push is starting to come onto Gang FTY. As uh, they do actually have uh, uh, some advancement coming. They are in that little shack there and currently just trying to survive a little bit from Dankirk. So Dankirk just ha trying to get a good angle through that little window there just to try and, and spot them out. But uh, it looks like Super Raj is going to be in a little bit of trouble. Resurgence here are going to continue to put up those long range shots onto uh, the last player from Regium as he just tries to hang on for, for dear life for the time being. And now we will be seeing whether or not that these other teams are going to be trying to uh, force these other teams to do something that they don't want to, like uh, force them to fight into others, which is exactly what Dogs is doing. They are controlling the space here uh, expertly and really taking a very careful approach here, just trying not to uh, keep too much, but enough that they can exert that kind of pressure onto the rest of the teams. But the next zone is going to reveal itself and then we will know whether or not that this is going to actually be um, an absolute meat grinder or not because KNY God is still up here for um, the rest of uh, Geek Fam at the moment as he's still trying to just hang out for the time being. And looks as though he's going to move away from the compounds and uh, looks like Gang FTY is going to have a really good position here on the high ground as uh, all these teams are going to have to push here. Dogs probably going to push down the southern side here and um, M0 and the rest of Gang FTY are going to have to be careful. But now dogs are trying to lay that hurt onto uh, Resurgence now as they're trying to finish them off before they can advance further. But they're going to take the vehicles here and try and rotate as best they can. But it looks like Danker going to work here as he able he's able to pick up another kill onto uh, Wipeout at the moment. Wipeout only has the one player left available to them. KNY got just waiting on for dear life for the time being and just going to try and see what opportunity he can get to try and get inside. Now he does have the full squad here of Stadium Fighter currently in the way. Mista only has OG Philip here and looks like he is getting a lot of company very close by. Unexpected. Uh, trying to move through this area here. As now looks like uh, the Players from Surgeons here, sucking Quadro, getting shot off the bike here or, or forced to run. It's going to be incredibly difficult for them to get up here. Uh, Kasake is down. And it looks like Momonji here. Only four more rounds in his AWM. And uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have any kills to show for uh, the AWM. But hey, that happens, right? But they were... Oh, Arrowwolf making a daring push here right into the center of the circle. And really braving a lot of this fire. They have a lot of vehicles going on here. And uh, just really just trying to survive. Entruck will be deploying smokes here. His vehicle blows up into a ball of flames for the time being. And now we will be seeing that the rest of uh, his uh, Airwolf Summit here just got to try and stay alive. Cheesy Kimbap has moved in already. But now it looks like Stadium Fighter is also going to make their move pretty soon. It looks like Gang FTY also inside as well. But it would be interesting to see whether or not KNY God is going to shoot all these uh, Stadium Fighter guys in the back here. And if he's uh, careful enough, he might actually make it happen. But uh, looks like uh, Stadium Fighter deploying a lot of smokes. They're trying to advance onto this position. Look how many players there are in this uh, particular area. And that can actually have quite a good field of vision at the moment. Now it looks like CJ is pushing up onto the high ground. But uh, there is M0 there uh, just trying to hold onto it. It looks like Arthur Crosby going to finish off uh, OG Philip, and that's going to be it for Mista in this round number four. He does get spotted out and he didn't have anywhere to go. But now it looks as though the push is coming here uh, towards M0 and it looks like um, he actually goes down here after CJ is able to pop up on the other side here. So nice tight team work here. Yes, uh, Allen's going to have to try and uh, position himself as well as Danker here to try and fend off this coming push here from the rest of dogs as they are moving in from this southern edge of the circle but now there's a big push uh, coming from stadium fighter they have one of their players down the rest should be forthcoming here for the time being but at the moment Danker uh, is just trying to hold on for the time being and KNY got gets taken out here and that's going to be it for geek fam they've actually managed to stay alive until the seventh position here after dropping a few of their players much earlier on so uh now looking at how things are going on uh we will be seeing that others are going to be making their move 
uh, pretty soon inside this new zone. But yeah, looking at how things are going, Stadium Fighter in the northern side are going to be trying to, to move in here towards the Airwolf uh, position. And looks like Cheesy Kimbap still going to just try and stay a little bit uh, hidden there. And now Exagon uh, here going to just try and manage uh, this flank for the time being. He's lying prone here waiting for the push to come in from Stadium Fighter. And uh, looks like uh, CJ and the rest of uh, l Dogs here, or rather dogs here are going to advance from this position arthur crosby going to try and put up some fire towards this uh direction at the moment and uh now we will be looking to see how the rest of uh these other teams are going to be moving in arthur crosby with not much health left here and uh currently there's only danker here on the side to try and prevent the push here from coming from dogs at the moment but he is going to try and actually prevent um the rest of uh, dogs here from trying to surprise them but dogs might be going for the lower ground unexpected already getting inside the zone for the time being here but now cheesy kimbap in a little bit of trouble here he's had to get inside the smoke for the time being and now we can see that uh entrof here crosby and uh Katow here just going to try and move in uh but it looks like allen's here going to try and surprise uh uh, some of these players here on the southern side, but I don't think he realizes that the last player from Wipeout is inside this zone at the moment, but he's able to land some shots, but looks like Entrov gets picked off by Unexpected, so Unexpected rolling up this side of the circle, on currently going trying to get some shots onto Crosby, but currently he's uh, uh, getting a little bit of a cover here, he's going to boost up a little bit, I don't think he has any health left, and Momonji going to use some of those precious uh, AWM bullets as Stadium Fighter gets eliminated here. So now we have a uh, dominating position here from Dogs at the moment where they do have three players left up and currently just trying to plot out where the remaining players could be. There's uh, going to be the two players from Airwolf Summit and there's going to be uh, Wipeout, one player left, as well as Allens from Gang FTY. So I think they sus Momoji already suspects that there's going to be someone there. So Allens going to try and put some of that long-range fire back and uh, just try and fend them off a little bit but I don't think he knows that Stu might be in there and actually being a potential thorn in his side but given this circle it is going to be right in the middle guys and looks like uh, there's one foot inside this zone already as uh oh unexpected getting picked off by Katao here so Katao going to work and uh, look unluckily for him he only has bandages left here so um, now we will be seeing how things are Going to be uh, developing Momoji, making full use of those four bullets of his AWM that he had available before. But there, he's going through them pretty quickly here, but it, the game is breaking down even further. And uh, Alan's getting some good position onto the high ground. He spots Momonji here, just going to try and hold his fire for the time being here while he waits to see what happens. But it looks like Momonji turns around here and he's able to uh, escape that fire for the time being. And oh, he uses his last AWM shot. So Alan's going to try and do what he can from this high ground. He deploys his uh, smoke grenades and the frag as well. But I'm not sure the angle is going to be too good here. It's going to go a bit too far at the moment as he's just trying to deploy whatever smokes that he has left. But looks like um, the three players are backed up here for the rest of uh, dogs. But now looks like Stu going to knock down... Uh, or take out Katao. So it is going to be Alan's against Dogs at the moment. And he's going to have to try and hang out there. But they're still actually uh, wipe out. Still alive in that smoke grenade there. So he's just going to try and uh, make do with the situation. But Momonji here still just going to try and put up some shots. And looks as though that Stu is going to pop out at that moment there. And he is able to catch off Alan there. So a little bit unlucky in that situation. And it looks like Mad Dog will be able to finish off Stu. And uh, actually, we still have Arthur Crosby still alive, who's all the way over here. So currently, Crosby is going to... He's going to wait to die pretty much here in this kind of situation. So we'll see what happens from that. And currently, he is going to be facing a little bit of a uphill battle. Quite literally, in fact. And uh, it is going to be only a matter of time. He actually only has 20 seconds before the zone starts moving in. And that's going to actually put a real dampener on how he's able to survive into these late stages. 
But yeah. It's only going to be a matter of time. It's just a question if they want to pan him. It looks like unexpected getting knocked down here. As uh, Omoji moving around the side here. But he's going to be good for the flank here as they finish off Arthur Crosby. So Dogs finishing tonight strongly. They came second in round number three. And in this round they came in first place with 13 kills to their name. Getting the chicken dinner. And uh, looks like CJ again leading the way. But a very good contribution from all of the team members here. Momonji, Unexpected and Mad Dog all p picking up three kills apiece. They really had a, a good spot and they were uh, making decisions on how to move into those later stages after they had to vacate that compound. So good play from them. And uh, in second place, we see Air Wolf Summit able to stay alive right to the end with Arthur Crosby. They made a daring push right into the center of the circle there. And uh, they stayed alive for the most part, but there are just too many teams around there and it's all on the hillside. So very unique uh, finishing here. Um, I think in round three, especially that one was uh, particularly interesting. Um, and then in third place, we did see that it was going to be Wipeout getting on into the top five here. Uh, for the first time this evening there after uh, they were able to catch out Allens there after emerging from the smoke at the right time and uh, Allens was trying to hold the fort as long as possible for gang FDY but unfortunately he was a little bit outnumbered and yes he did have that situation where you couldn't really anticipate for the guy coming out of the smoke and uh, in fifth place is Stadium Fighter so they get into the top five again here as uh, they managed to get fifth place with uh, three kills as well to boot here so guys, um, that is about it for tonight. i just like to give a big thanks to everyone who tuned in to watch the stream tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourself um, and everyone who liked and shared uh, the stream and especially for those who actually uh, gave some stars as well. Red with 100 stars, Rus Rusdi uh, Hadi with 100 stars and um, also um, Kint Akila Bakong with 200 stars. You're all amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Really does help out a lot in uh, in me doing these uh, kind of streams, guys. So, again, uh, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, thank you so much for those who are uh, supporting what I do and uh, the way I'm doing it as well. Uh, just to put it out there, guys, there's always uh, room for a lot of spectators for the PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City games. So... If you do want to try and give your own take on how um, PUBG should be displayed, please do come by. Give uh, Jin a PM and uh, get in on that. You know, don't just uh, leave it till um, you know you actually see someone else who's been doing it. But in any case, I, I thoroughly enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, thank you guys so much for helping me realize that. So that's going to be all for me tonight. I'm going to be uh, casting the PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship um, this weekend. Qualifiers number three. So do tune in to the Geek Events page on Facebook there for details as to when the stream will be going live. It'll be around 12 o'clock onwards. And then I will be back here on Facebook um, or Play of the J from Tuesday onwards for more scrim action. So again... Thanks so much, guys, and good night.